given a binary representation of in of an integer as a string s and we have to return the number of steps to reduce it to one under the following rules what are the rules the first rule is if the current number is even you have to reduce it obviously divide it by two if the current number is odd you have to add one to it and it is guaranteed that we always reach to one for all the test cases now if this is given for us uh, very naively i can th start thinking of okay I, i have this binary number i will convert this to actual decimal number as you can see one two four eight so eight plus four twelve plus one thirteen so i convert to a decimal number and then i will start applying these operations okay if it is odd add a one if it is and for sure after adding one in an odd number it will for sure become an become an even number you will divide it by two then again some number will be formed it can be even or odd and then you will keep on repeating this process how long will this process be repeated if this number is a n this process will be repeated log n to the base number of times roughly because what what will happen if it is even it will directly be divided by 2 if it is odd one step for converting to even and then divide by 2 so roughly i can easily say that i can divide by 2 at every step or i can say every alternate step to be more precise but is it will it work um maybe it would have worked if this string if i was able to convert to a integer but if you look at the constraints string length is 500 i cannot convert it to a integer or maybe even a long long so okay this is gone now let's just simulate what again we know it's a binary form now just to simulate the entire process on this binary form itself how we will do it we'll simply say okay if the current number is even and how to know if a number is even or not if i give you any binary representation how will you know if the number is even or not if you remember the contribution of every bit is 1 2 4 8 as we have taught already in the crash course that this is last bit if it is a zero okay for sure because last bit contributes to the number to being positive sorry to being odd or even so if the last bit is 1 this rightmost bit is 1 okay it is a odd if it is zero it is even so i can easily see that even which means the last bit which means the rightmost bit is zero if it is odd rightmost or last bit is one divide it by 2 is a exact same process of right shifting the entire stuff by one adding a one is simply a addition operation which we have already seen we have already discussed the subtraction also in here now so let's just replicate the entire process for this one example so i had 1101 I know this as the extreme right bit is one, which is indicates it is odd. So I will have to add a plus one. So for odd, I will add a plus one. One operation is done. Again, I will count operation for every step. You will just see. Okay, one operation done because the rightmost bit was one. It is odd. When it was one, so technically what I will do? I will add it. If I will add it because for sure I will add it. Right, add a one. I will add these one. If I add a one, it will become a zero. Now, as it has become a zero, for sure, I will do one thing. Okay, do a right shift because if it is zero, it is even now. So simply do a right shift. So you can simply see that this location is gone now. But I have to apply two operations. One was adding and one was then right shifting. But then I received a carry which I should maintain, right? Okay. So I realized up till so far that I will maintain a carry. and in the very beginning my carry was a zero and i also realized that i will do a si plus carry and if this value mod 2 if it is 1 then i know that i will have to apply a odd operation then i have to apply a then i have to apply basically i have to add a 1 i have to add a 1 and it is directly saying if something was odd you are adding a 1 For sure, it will now become a even. So then, do one right shift, one right shift. That's it, and that is okay. That is what we have learned from this first when when it was in the very beginning, and in the very beginning carry is zero. So I can initialize my carry to a zero. Now let's proceed for forward. So we we reached here one one, and then I will simply as you can see zero plus one. 
so i am simply sfi is 0 carry is 1 so i simply added it after adding it it again became a 1 again became a 1 sfi 0 plus 1 is 1 then again apply do a odd operation do a even operation which means add a 1 right shift again two operations so i realized that whenever this is the case i am always increasing my answer by 2 which means i am applying two operations and also okay it became uh, and as i will it is a 1 right it is a 1 and then i am adding a 1 to it 1 plus 1 so for sure a carry of 1 will always be generated so i also realized that a carry of 1 will always be generated when my sfi plus carry is 1 so this is one thing i realized from here also that okay 0 and 1 and as you can easily see two operations was done here and two operations sorry two operations are also done here now again take this portion right this is s of i this is my carry s of i plus carry it's a zero oh s of i plus carry again you had a one you had a one s of i plus carry you just added it and it became a zero so you realize okay it became a zero then uh, i am simply sorted and i can simply say zero will be there but then a carryover one will also be there because one plus one is zero and then one carryover I'm talking about this portion this portion is already gone this portion one plus one is zero and then one carry over so we realized okay s of i plus f s of i plus carry s of i plus carry again this is, if you remember this, this was s of i this was carry s of i plus carry mod 2 mod 2 mod 2 if this is zero then i realized one thing um for sure if this thing is zero and I'm adding a carry and I'm in, in, in S, S of I, so I'm only applying one operation, which is simply a right shift. I'm applying only the right shift. Then do one right shift, which is equivalent to saying one operation, which means answer will increase by one. And again, carry will also be like whatsoever carry was there. So I can also say the carry is one or I can, or I can easily say my carry has always been one, which is if it, it would have been one, it will still be one. So I can just keep it as it is. Now let's proceed forward. Last, last one, last one, because you know, this is done last one. Ideally, I should not touch last one, but still uh, I can easily see one plus one. It became a zero and then carry over a one. I should leave this one as it is, but I know that this is a zero. So I should do a right shift for this specific zero, which is, which will come in this example, this case, else case, you can say it is a F case. It is a else case. It's a F case that S of I plus carry is actually equal to zero. Then do one operation. And then last I will have a one remaining. So Aryan, uh, you're applying this S of I for sure. You're applying it from the end, which means applying it from the end. So the code looks like that. I will apply this entire operation for int I is equals to N minus one. And technically I is greater than equal to zero. And then I minus minus. Is this what you are doing? Um, I'll say maybe. Because you can see I'm going on to the ex extreme first bit. Like I reached the first bit here itself. But if you look at the second example, we'll easily recognize that, okay, in the very beginning, this is one zero. So my carry was a zero. My carry was a zero. Now, if my carry is a zero, carry is a zero, zero plus zero is zero, which means S of I plus carry mod two is zero. Then I know it is just a one operation, which is a right shift operation and carry did not change so i'm not saying carry is one here now if earlier the carry was zero it will remain zero so basically in this case the carry is not even changing so i haven't even put carry here because we realized here the carry was becoming one in this operation and here we realize the carry is still a zero so it, it, it depends if the carry was a one earlier it will still remain a one if the carry was zero it will still remain a zero so we realize the carry is still a zero and then ultimately S of I plus carry, which means carry is zero. S of I is one. Then you would have said, okay, R in the value is one. Ultimately, if the value is one, you would have gone to this if condition and you would have added an answer of plus two and made a carry of one also. Uh, which is okay. For sure. No, because, because, because it is bro, the last bit. And we know that we have to stop at one. It is specifically saying you have to reach one and then stop. So ideally, I should not even go to the last bit. So I should modify my for loop by saying, bro, please go to more than equal to one. That is what I should ask or do. And ultimately, yeah, uh, 
uh, if we go to the last condition that okay if it had only one for sure i will not even go here it will be only one and that's the answer answer is zero so if i come back to my first example i realized i should go and walk up to the second last bit which means i will go uh, i will go on to this bit this bit this bit i should not go on to this bit but still i remembered if i will not going on to this bit i might have a carry which i should incorporate in my answer so whatsoever answer i have got so far which means answer answer i have got so far i know whatsoever carry i had i can just simply incorporate that carry which means add that carry in your answer if the carry is zero good add zero if it carries one add a one one operation and that's how you will not go on to the last bit and still get the answer cool let's see the code it's exactly same as what we saw in dry run that i will go on from n minus 1 to equal to 1 then if my s of i again because you know it's a string so you have to convert it to a integer and then plus carry if this mod 2 is actually 1 which means for sure my this bit is odd extreme right, right rightmost bit is odd and i have to do a right shift firstly add and then, and then do a right shift so add and then do a right shift so two operations and we know we have a odd value we are adding a plus one or value which means one adding a plus one so for sure we will get a carry of one for sure a carry of one now this is a case when this value when this value is a zero which means s of i plus carry if it's a zero there can be two possibilities either s of i was one and carry was one or can be possibility that both of them were zero again if s of i is one and carry is one so for sure you will get a zero with a carry of one which means carry of one you should get a carry of one again s of i is zero sorry s of i is zero and carry is zero you will get a zero with a carry of zero so i can simply say that i will simply increase the answer by one because i know i this is a zero finally as an output i have to do a right shift one operation but the carry will remain what the carry existingly was that's the reason i did not even change my carry at all and ultimately my answer will be answer plus carry in the because remaining carry it can be a zero or a one answer plus carry and that is my final answer time used simply o of n and species is o of one now there is also a o of n square brute force approach but i don't think neither it is intuitive nor it is no way like close to easiness so i did not discuss it but yeah that is the most optimal approach for it if you liked it please 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 subscribe for watching more such videos and if you like it it helps a lot lately we are not getting like we're not but yeah um it's sort of you bye bye take care